Hey y'all, this is Robin. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing good today. I am here to share a project that I did and to also let you know the supplies. Um, it's a resin project. I've only been doing resin for a couple of weeks now, so don't feel like I'm you know have near enough experience to do a tutorial but i will share some supplies that i bought off of um, amazon um actually i'm only going to show you one thing i bought off of amazon that is related to this project um but anyway let's go ahead and get started um i found um or seen when i was shopping a candy mold I think it's used for candy or fondant might even be a fondant mold in Michaels um, that had these um, different things on it here's the mold and like I said it's it's over where the cake stuff is and it's $9.99 so if you use a 50% off coupon you get it for like five bucks or whatever it's nice heavy duty and the resin comes out of it perfectly I love these molds right here I've got another one um, let's see not another one like this I was gonna pick up another last night but I didn't I've got this one that's a prima mold these do real good too I, I know I'm not telling y'all anything you don't already know but um and i've ordered a couple from um well i ordered one from amazon that i haven't used yet and i have a couple of the mod podge molds um i also made some things with this mold right here it's more of a candy mold it's kind of hard to work with um but i did make some things with it but anyway the michael's mold is the one that I used or yeah the Michaels fondant mold is the one I used for this sea life charm dangle um, I posted this just on Instagram a little bit ago so some of you may have already seen it before you see this video but I have one heck of a time getting this dangle together now I got I, I used a Dremel tool to put in the eye hooks um, but and that wasn't a problem. I did that in like 10 minutes. Ten, it took me 10 minutes to put the eye hook, drill the holes and put the eye hooks in all the resin pieces. But putting this charm together, I've never done a charm dangle like this. So I've just had trouble. If y'all can suggest a good video on how to lay out your pieces, how far apart they should be and all of that stuff, let me know below if you don't mind because I thought, you know, looking at it, it looks like it'd be really easy, but um, I didn't find it to be. So anyway, uh, but I used for this, these resins, I used this amazing casting, casting resin that I picked up at Michael's. It is the 10 minute cure one. I love it. Um, if you put just glitter in it, you're going to get a piece that is let's see I put just glitter in this piece right here I think I sprinkled the glitter before I actually poured the resin and that's what you're going to get I mean it's white on the opposite side um, as you can see the you know stuff comes to the top but anyway um, there's that so it took me about a week to figure out that I was just going to have to order something that I didn't have anything in my stash to be able to um, color this 10 minute resin. I think you can use acrylic paint with the 24 hour. You can use alcohol ink with this one, but I only have three colors and they're not very pretty. So I didn't even use those. Um, but let me show you what I used. I bought um, on Amazon. And I will leave a link below for this. But it's actually soapy mica powder pigments. And it's, I guess it's basically, it can be used to color anything. It's pigment powder. And I guess a lot of people buy this, like this is sold by a soap shop. So that's okay. It doesn't matter that I didn't use it for soap. 
but it has a bunch of really pretty colors and I'll just kind of put them out here so you can see. I mean, the first one was pink. That's a rose, a red gold, a white gold, um, a pearl gray. The pearl gray, that's how it cures. And they'll, they'll cure in this because this is a white resin when it finishes. It'll be a little bit light. It's going to be lighter than what you see, but you can put more to make it darker. Um, a red a Venus is what that looks like. That says, is this a real pretty color? That's actually what I used on the seahorse. This sea green is what I used on the uh, seaweed. I, um, antique gold, lilac, silver gray, um, space blue, aquamarine. I'm not sure if it's the aquamarine or the sapphire blue. I think it was the aquamarine that I used on the mermaid, maybe. The mermaid tail. Um, then there is white and pearl white, and then pistachio, <laughs> sky blue, brown, this real pretty um, electric blue, uh, lime green, copper, purple, copper gold, and you get 24 different colors, and I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to say they have other like a bigger combination line. This is 24 pack. I think they might have a 36. I just need to go and look. Um, but I would maybe like to add some other colors if I can find them. But so far, if I've been looking for a color in these, I've been satisfied with what I have found in these 24 colors. So for now, I think, um, you know, what I have here will be perfect. It doesn't take, I know it doesn't come with a lot, but it doesn't take a lot either. And I just use a popsicle stick to kind of dip some out of the bag and put it in. Now what I do is I first pour part A and I color it. Then when I'm ready to pour, when I'm, you know, ready to do it, cause you know, you can't mix that 10 minute resin, but about two minutes max, you'll feel it getting hot and then you gotta get it in the mold. Cause it's gonna start getting stringy and it may not cure right. So. I always color part A before I add part B, and I've not had any trouble. I'm really tickled with, you know, how it came out. I could speak more to things I've done, but I don't know <laughs> it's the right technique, so I don't want to, you know, say anything else about what I did, but um, I will be sharing more stuff as I get it. I'm going to be ordering some more molds and stuff, so I'm excited to get all of those. But I just wanted to share this with you today, share with you the supplies that I use to actually make the resin. Um, I'm really excited. And like I said, I will put a link to this in the description bar below in case you wanna get some of it. Um, I know there are liquid pigments as well. Um, there's one by EasyCast, I think, and those are kinda like $7 for a bottle. Um, that's just one color, so this was more economical for me. Um, and then, like I said, I picked up the Caston Resin, the amazing Caston Resin at Michael's. You can get that there. It's like $21, $22, and if you use the 50% off, then that's not bad. And then I got the mold at Michael's as well. So, guys, that's it. That's all I have to share. I just kind of wanted to share with you um, what I had done with this first project. I have done some other pieces. Um, I did um, a this set of wings. Um, that was, I think that was the very first thing I poured. And I, these are clear, as you can see. So I used the 24 hour cure. Um, but you can do the wings and do a color like the pearl white, I think would be really pretty. Um, yeah, I think the pearl white would give it a shimmer and be really nice. Um, let me see. I'll show you some other pieces that I did with, um, with this mold right here, I did this purse, 
and I need to trim it a little bit better right there, but I was going to put this little pink bow on it. I did do two pours. I poured, um, this is, this area right here is lower, so I was able to pour a little bit of resin in there and let it cure for 10 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. I got a call. So, I think what I was saying was that I was going to put this um, little bow either on the front or on the handle there. But, um, also, let's see, I did these little lipsticks and I did a double pour on them as well. But what I don't like, now this one I did a little bit different and I'll tell you about that. But what I don't like about this one was I poured the gray first and let it dry and or cure and then I poured the pink and had to do a, a you know a pink layer all the way on the back do you think that looks tacky just comment below and let me know it's not gonna hurt my feelings I just want to know the right way to do this stuff this one I just did in um, I can't remember what color this was and then I just poured it all in that and then I painted the lipstick with acrylic paint that was a little bit tedious. If you have a steady hand, you can do that. I also seen somebody put acrylic paint on the mold to do like the uh, white accent in the eye of an owl uh, before she actually poured the resin. Um, I tried putting acrylic paint down in here painting that and then pouring it it didn't cure well so um that's that's not going to happen again so um i also have a little mold that has this tea tiny heart i mean you see how how it's in the middle of my hands so that's really tea tiny but super cute so <laughs> i thought that was so cute so i'd like to pour some of those things um a bunch of those here's some shoes that go along with the pocketbook or with the purse um, I thought that made a cute combination and would make a really cute charm uh, to go like on a, a traveler's notebook or something so I did that but that's pretty much it I hadn't done a whole lot just um, a couple things here and there and, um, Thought I'd share those with you. I like those shoes. I thought they were cute. They look good in red. You know, everybody likes a pair of red shoes, red heels, and then this locket. And this locket actually came from the Prima mold. Um, this one right here that has the wings. I love this mold. It's so pretty. And I want to do some wings to put like on the front of a uh, mini album. I just think that'll be so pretty. But I don't do mini albums. <laughs> I've, got a few, I've done a couple in my life, but I've got to figure that out. So it's a slow process, but I've enjoyed it. It's just something new to do um, along with all my paper crafting I like to do. And so, anyway, guys, that's it. Like I said, leave any comments below, answer any questions I've asked if you have the information, and I will leave the link to these pretty powder pigments um, below. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.